Now we will try to test the video quality of the drone. We will try to record it to an SD card on the drone. The drone uses a regular SD card and the remote control has a video button which is located here and the photo button to take a photo. If you don't have to use a phone you still can use this button but you need to remember when you push the button so that to know if the video is recording or not. You may forget during the flight whether you push the button or not. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Uh, taking picture is easy. Just pushing the button and it will take the picture. Now I'm inserting an SD card. SD card is inside. Push the button record the video. Now it says it's activated but as in the previous model also when the video is recorded to the phone you would have this time in red counting. And when you put an SD card, you just have this button in blue activated. So let's see if it works. Back our drone, and it's coming back. land automatically make sure it doesn't land on somewhere where you have sticks around so at this point I have some uh, plants some dry plants around and it just landed on them and cut up some out of them but the propellers I think are good so as you remember you can actually stop the drone pushing the home button again and the drone will stop this position and then you can uh, move the drone away from the obstacles. As you noticed on the video I had propellers so now I'll move the camera a little bit to see if anything will change because the propellers may affect the way the camera is filming. 
So now the camera was in this position. I will move it a little bit downwards and see if the propellers will still be on the screen and then we'll see if something changes in the quality of the picture. I'll turn on the propellers and I don't see any propellers now. Let's do it again. The picture is also interrupted when I try to see what's going on, when I move the drone, it's not passing the picture, there is interference still, although it's a, the Wi-Fi 5 that I'm using. Now I see the picture again, but there was an interruption. Back the drone again. It's pretty far away from us. Push on the home button, and I see the drone is coming back. Flies pretty quickly towards me, but the, but when the drone is picking up the altitude, it goes slowly. And now when it's uh, approaching me, it goes slower. See now the sound now it looks like the battery now is going down. So I'm pushing the home button now again. Okay, now the home button function is cancelled. But we still hear the sound and you can understand that this is a battery. Now we'll just choose a good space to land and we will land. That's how it works in real life. It looks pretty cool. Now in order to check if I have the videos again, I go to this menu here, which is videos, and I see here now the 
uh, menu which is in grey and shows, shows like a, like an SD card symbol so I'll push this symbol and I see that there is a video that has been taken so I guess it works but I will have to check all the videos on my computer at home and if you try to push them for anything you have something in Chinese so I would not risk pushing any of those buttons I will just go and check it at home